<laughs> so, and we're back with the knob. <laughs> Alright guys, we are back again. Uh, we have another juice review tonight. Uh, we have got <laughs> <laughs> we have got Simeon vapes tonight. Uh, we are running their ten mil tester pots. Uh, they are eighty twenties. They are zero nicotine. They do them in the short fill bottles. There will be links to their Facebook, uh, Instagram if they've got it, uh, and their website, guys. Um, I'm not going to tell you the price because I didn't look at them. Um, again, because they're the 10 mil testers. So we're just going to start straight down into it. Five juices, and we're just going to get on with it. I'll let you start this time, Stefan. Five yeah. juices, five mods. Pick your weapon. Obviously, we have it's been sent these for review. Um, I can't remember the lad that um, sent them to me, so I will put a link in to obviously the guy that sent them to us. Um, me and Jamie, we're going to start getting these ready because they are on fresh wicks, fresh coils. <laughs> so. While Stefan tries the first one, we're just going to get the first one linked up, ready for him. Very blue. So yeah, the first one is a Heisenberg. What we could find out on Lion from their website was that it is a menthol ice blast. Um, I've never just seen one that's a menthol ice blast. It's always been fruit mixed fruit menthols and stuff, which is the normal Heisenberg. Um, but we're going to give it a go, see what it's like. What I'll do is I'll leave the lid off, guys, and just put the bottom in front of them. But I will put that back on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If not, you're going to get a bit of a sticky lip. A bit of a hot lip. Then, if you're not quick enough, I'll be stuck to it, won't it? Mm -hmm. So, we have got some interesting flavours coming tonight, guys. We've got some interesting colours as well, haven't we? Mm. That one that you're playing with looks, uh, reminds me of a slush puppy. Just a bit. I'll say that is rather blue, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Again, one. guys, we are running on Big Boy Coils from Shane Wiseman. Uh, I will leave links to him as well. But as you can see, we always run on fresh whips, fresh coils. I hate this mod. It takes us ages to re whip these bloody things. <laughs> we spend most of our time doing it. We do. Right. Is that all of them done, yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's five bottles. Um, the lids off. Stephanie's Steph got one. And we go <gasps> with the black caps because yep. they piss us off. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much just your standard usual hybrid, really. Yeah? Yeah, you got the fruit there. So I'm is, not getting much. Is it a mixed fruit yeah. menthol or is it just a, a menthol ice blast? No, because I'm not getting no ice from it either. Right. No coldness, no when menthol. Cool either, it? No. You're just getting the mixed fruit. And there's a slight bit of anisee, anisee bit up. But yeah, just after. So you can smell a bit of anisee, right? Yeah. But I thought it was just me. Again, it is an 80-20, guys, so the cloud production is going to be brilliant. It's going to be clouds for days. <coughs> yeah, for me, again, that is just a, a, a normal Heisenberg. You've got a, a, a fruity taste of some sort. Um, it doesn't say that it's got a fruit in there. It just says it's a menthol ice blast. But the, the, there is like an aniseed or... It's like a black currently kind yeah. of feel to it or something. Again, it's, it's a nice it's a nice juice guys, it is just a mm. plain Heisenberg. I can't put my finger on what the anisee taste is. Yeah, there's there's something there. I'll tell you what the anisee reminds me of. You know the little anisee balls you used to get when you were a kid? Mm. It just reminds me of them. Mm. The centre of it. Can you remember doing the throwing liquids? Oh um The eucalyptus. The aloe vera. Yeah. The aloe vera yeah. juice. It's like that. That's got that feeling from the foam liquids. It's not a don't get us wrong guys, this is not a bad juice. It's just it's a nice. normal it's just a normal all day e liquid. Um it, it's for the guys that want something plain simple that just works. Do you know what that's doing wrong? That's good. I I I ain't a Heisenberg person, I only go to it if I've generally got a cold yeah. and that's just to clear me out. But if I were if I had a cold, I would generally know that all day. That's probably one of the best Heisenberg flavors I've yeah. had in a long time. Yeah, it's not overpowered. It's just a, a perfect all day nice flavor. Yeah, but like you said as well, 
if you got bored, say, like we've, we've all got a sweet tooth, mm-hmm. that would be the ideal thing to break up your flavours. Yeah. And then yeah. you'd enjoy it a bit more. I think it's all right. Yeah. It, that's you know, it is. No, it's it, nice. It's it is what it says on it is nice. I say it is what it says on the box, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not much of a blasphemy when they say ice blast. I expect Coolada like wow. Yeah, like punch yeah. That's like. that's what I would expect. But no, that is just a nice menthol vape. I, I wouldn't say it's anything out of ordinary or nothing special. It's just a nice all day menthol. Yeah. I say, like I said, for me, I'd, I'd use it if I had a bit of a cold, or if I wanted to vape up, or if I wanted to um, change up my vapes and stuff. Yeah, and that's what I'd use. That one, mate. That is the the dragon, the dragon, the dragon. So the dragon is blueberries, strawberries, and dragon fruit. So that sounds quite nice. Mm, this one sounds really, really nice. Again, I'm hoping that obviously that that blueberry is the first hit you get. Kind of strawberry on the back kale and like dragon fruit. Is. We've not had many. We've not had many juices with dragon fruit, in it. No. no, we've only had a couple. And you again, know, the it's... dragon fruit overpowered. Can you yeah. remember the dragon fruit uh, and what is it? The passion fruit that we had, and they kind of overpowered the dragon yeah, fruit. Kind it was, of overpowered. It's not there was too much going on. Mm. That's it's going to be similar to like some of the juices we tried before with like lychee and stuff. The dragon fruit is going to be the strongest flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you got to get with this. The dragon fruit. I've found with the dragon fruit. Is a really strong flavour anyway. You've yeah. got to get that right. You either need a nice subtle flavour in the back of it, which mm. strawberry and blueberry is, should do. Yeah. yeah, you've got it there. Like it I say, you've got it. the major taste of the dragon fruit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. dragon fruit on the inhale, then strawberries and blueberries on the exhale. Yeah, that's the problem. I, I find a lot of juices nowadays. Obviously, they use a really strong forefront, but their back one, like the back flavours that they really want to shine, doesn't because it's mm. overpowered too much by the others. But we'll give it a good go. It's all trial and error. Yeah. If you don't try, you don't know. Again, not all companies are the same, guys. Obviously, this is why we get to try them because they're nice enough to send them out for us. Uh, don't be trying new flavours. Mm. It smells nice. It smells very summery. You know, if that, in a weird, if it makes sense in a weird way. See, for me, I'm getting the blueberry, the strawberry then the dragon fruit so the blueberry is the f- forefront strawberries it is just kind of middle um inhale and then you're just getting a sugary dragon fruit on the out or like exhale that is actually a pleasant pleasant thing mm. see i've got it the other way around yeah and, you got more dragon fruit than the strawberries and the, the blueberries. I've got it the opposite way. I've got more blueberries, strawberries, and then the dragon fruit. All the desire comes up to me. <laughs> but it, it's nice. It, it, it's not overpowering. I don't find that any of them flavours are overpowering each other. I think they're all kind of mixed together nicely on that one. Again, that's just leaving. That dragon fruit is leaving a real nice tang on the back of my tongue afterwards. I like that one. That is just, it's full of flavour, it's got a nice sweetness to it, and you get to taste everything that they say that's in there. That is sweet as. I follow this, I'm really enjoying this. But yeah, I'll agree with you what you said. The dragon fruit is right there, right at the back end of the flavour. So when you think everything's gone, yeah. all of a sudden you've got yeah, a that. nice, juicy like dragon fruit right, in, right onto your mouth, you know? Juicy flavour. Nice. <laughs> I say, I'd try it again, because obviously yeah. if that was on a fresh wing, just. Me and Kyle had this the other week. We, we both said, no, we don't like it, don't like it. It's it's all of it, it more. We tried it again and it was like, oh, <coughs> this is sweet. Even now, I can still taste the drag fruit. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm facing on something completely different and I'm still tasting it. But yeah, I don't um, know what it is. It, the blueberries are right there at the front. You know, mm-hmm. nice blueberry. The strawberries taste like they're fresh. It's and then you've got that nice like drag fruit right at the back of it that mixes it all together. Yeah, it is like blueberries, instant, strawberries halfway, then everything exhale is just dragon fruit. Mm, dragon fruit. I was gonna say dragon fruit is really really nice flavour in e liquid. Yeah. It is I, I've seen it used more and more but I haven't tried as many of them. Um but the ones that I have tried they are really, really nice. It's hard to put with anything though, because it is that strong overpowering flavour. But for that one, they've they've got that just right for me. Yeah, yeah, that's a spot on. Mate. Yeah, 
Right, so we're going to go to the Dragon's Blood next. So again, that one was a winner for all of them, really. Um, Dragon's Blood, we're missing one, mate. I know. It's no, right. no, yeah, no, it's one weird dragon as well, isn't it? The dragon spearmint, blueberry, and strawberry. Yeah. So they're liking the blueberry and the strawberry. Mm. They found something that works, so. Mm. So let's hope that, obviously, this one goes the opposite way because you can smell the spearmint and you can smell it already, yeah. can you? But that, that's what I was hoping. The spearmint would be the, the more predominant, and then you're going to get the blueberry and the strawberry. Yeah, let's have a get the spearmint because it is a strong flavour anyway. That could overpower, take it all away from it. That one could be a good one for people that are coming over from, like, that want. Mouth to lung, they like their menthols, but they want a change it up and have they something want, different. Yeah, they want a little bit of um, flavour in yeah. there and stuff. So it'd be nice if that would stay more predominantly with the spearmint and then... Spearmint on the inhale and then, you know, just you afterwards. Do, the spearmint is so predominant with that. Well, yeah. Good. I've got a bit of tissue. You can have as much as you want. Yeah, it's definitely a bit of leakage. Ah, uh, Oh, yeah, Stephen, you know we filled this boy, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't know if we should share that with you or not, but... Right. Which one was that? That's got that going there as well, isn't it? Yeah, that's the uh, mystery flavour, that is. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't, Doesn't need to be that high. Well, eh? Doesn't need to be that high. What's that? I'm doing very high, mate. You trying to kill us? Yeah. 8.18. What chords are you rocking? Same thing, boy, boy. Oh, what? <laughs> of course. Yeah, oh. That, that spearmint is like. Yeah, that's right oh. there. Fresh bit of chewing gum, isn't it? Yeah. He's been a bit of chewing gum. He's actually slamming chewing gum, he's dead by. That. I'm, I'm getting more of the spearmint and the strawberry than I am the blueberry. But wow. <laughs> Looks like that. I'm, I'm not getting to go now, damn it, so he's saying that. I should just sit in the corner and say. No, that, <laughs> that's tasty. Um, Is that the juice one? What? Yes, mate, yeah. What? Oh, what? Uh, what chewing gum was it that Spelling. used to do? No, that used to do the ones with like the the added strawberry and Airways. No, no, not that strong. Um, I can't remember which one did it. I know it was like it was like a black gloss type. Yeah, they, they did like the juicy range, didn't they? Yeah. Where they did one with like strawberries. You know, like um, juicy fruit. It might be. There was one that went out like yeah, ju is it really juicy fruit yeah. or something. That yeah. is just a like yellow that. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is just like that. That's really, really nice. Wow. Well, again, the, the spearmint. Yeah. So I say, your spearmint is not too much, and it's just. No, because again, you, you'd expect the spearmint to be like overpowering, yeah. and it'd be like, wow, like hit in the back of the throat, as most spearmints are. But no, that is just a really, really nice, subtle spearmint with a nice hint of strawberry. I'm not getting the blueberry, guys. I've got a little I'm, bit. I, a I'm little not, bit right at the back end of it, I've got a little bit. I'd say, I'm. I'm still getting the spearmint and the strawberry, and that is a bang on, absolute perfect mix. I like that one. If you boys would like to move on, I we're going to move on. <laughs> right, guys. So this is the red astaire. So this is grapes, berries, eucalyptus, and menthol. Right. You actually, I, I just got a nice, a nice bit of blueberry in there. A nice bit. No, no, no. I've got a spare bit on the inhale, strawberry in the middle, and then just on that exhale, I've got a nice little bit of blueberry. No, I'm just getting spare and strawberry, but what I am getting, <coughs> I like. That is a very, very nice juice. So at the minute, we've got three thumbs up for them. We go tree for tree, people. Tree for tree. It cleans the old palate to get ready for this one. I like Red Astaire. What? Red Astaire. This, this one's grapes, berries, eucalyptus and menthol. Ooh. Uh, again, everyone is different. This is the only problem. Heisenberg's, every company is different and there's so many that swamp in the mm. market. The, the Red Astaire's, there's so many out there and again, they swamp the market. Everybody loves them, but they find it hard to find one that they can actually vape all day, every day. So it I is a hard one. Can you get all the flavours from that? Or everything? Because it sounds like there's a lot going on in there. There's a lot going on. Let's see. The eucalyptus is there. I hate it. I just do it from the top. <laughs> I hate it. I hate the RDA. <laughs> Bloody sick pit. Terrible. No, yeah, you've definitely got the eucalyptus there. And the berries as well. Yeah, I say because I smelled the berries in the menthol when you yeah. were blowing out and stuff. I got a whiff of that. See, so the greens. 
Or I can get his eucalyptus from that straight away. Yeah, That's from the bottle, that is. That is, a, that is a nice red steer. I had one at Carl gave me, I think it was a red steer and a different one as well. And that was just very, very strong with the eucalyptus. It just overpowered everything. Yeah, that well, so nice and so subtle. We've, we've had a couple of them, and they sort of hit and miss. You get one that you find that's really, really nice, so then you want to try that next company one to see if they yeah. can match it, and then it's it's disappointing. Yeah, I think these were the ones that Kyle got from Expo, and yeah, he tried if he didn't like them. Right, I'm, I'm not get. Did you get the grapes? No. No. More berries, more eucalyptus, yeah. with a tiny hint of menthol. That tiny right, hint of menthol right, right back bad. But that... So they've done well then, they've hit mm. the strong flavour again. Yeah. The berries, are, it's a nice, strong flavour. The eucalyptus, it's just a nice cooling effect, and then that menthol just gives you that like little kick at the back. Yeah. That is sweet as. Sweet as, isn't it? I really like that one. <laughs> so juice on this, yeah? Yeah, you want a little bit of juice, mate. Yeah, it's a pain in the arse, that one. <laughs> no, I just put the top out and do it from the top, mate. I, I really, really like that one. I got fudge over reworking this after it took me four tenths to get rid of it. No, that, they've got that one absolutely spot on. It's a nice mix of berries, a nice mix with the eucalyptus. Again, it's not strong. Um, again, a lot of these eucalyptus ones, they just overpower everything. That is such a sweet mix. Literally, they've got everything spot on with that. I'll I, I tell you what this reminds me of. Uh, what was the ones we got from Expo? The Lady, the the King, that was the Mountain. The liquids, mate. <coughs> mountain. Was it the Mountain? Uh, yeah, that was the aloe vera one, wasn't it? That's, this is what it reminds me of. Yeah. And I quite enjoyed those. I think I've still got... Uh, did I have the Mountain? No. I think Carl had that one, didn't he? You had it. I think Carl had the Lady. Yeah, Carl got the lady. I can't remember who I had what, mate. I'm fucking terrible. <laughs> but I'm glad he's really, really nice. Yeah, we, I don't know why this one is an unknown liquid. Um, it is called Winterfell Berries. It's not on the website. I haven't found it on the Facebook site. So I haven't got a flavour profile. All I can think of is it is winter berries. So it's going to be berries and mental. So we're like that soon going to find I out. I like that one, you know. The aloe vera is a nice, nice liquid, mate. I can still taste the um, the eucalyptus on the back of the mouth. The menthol yeah. was nice; it was cold going in, and the berries was just there. It feels like I've got <clears throat> berry and eucalyptus on my teeth. It's just like I'll tell you what it's like. Um, I like that. Oh, what is it? The old cough sweets you used to get, strep or cough sweets. Mm -hmm. It's like that. Yeah, that's just that. I'll tell you what; I can actually it's breathe a, now because it's like my, my airwaves. That's a pow flavour. <sighs> I like it. You know in the video you have to make it so when you say power it's just going to come up and go <laughs> <laughs> Just let your mouth look stuff. It, it will just come from here and go pow. Wham bam pow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is just a wide mix of berries. That would smell quite nice actually when is I put the... it on there. <clears throat> yeah, I, I actually it's that. not cold. Is there anything you can pick out of it? Like, as in berry wise. Is it a very good time? <laughs> I'd say you're probably getting raspberries in there quite a bit. But it's like they've just got like a load of mixed berries and it's just gone. See, to me it sounded like, it, yeah, mixed berries to me, but it sounded like, like a win, it's going to be all the winter berries and yeah, stuff, weren't it? Like your dark ones. Yeah. And cherries and blackberries. It's a nice flavour. Mm. But you can't um, have it. I, I couldn't tell you. No. <laughs> it. There's raspberries in it. I've got mm. the raspberries. There's something else in there. It is quite a dark liquid. Don't know, guys, but send me your votes. Whatever you put in the winter fell berries. <laughs> that, it's nice. I can't put my finger on exactly what there is in there. I get, I get this thing. I'm, I swear I get raspberry from it. And I'm not normally <laughs> wrong with these ones. No. There's no Coolado in there, so the Winterfell berries is kind of misleading, I think. Yeah. <laughs> but. There's something in the background. Mm, there, there's no Coolado, there's no menthol. That is just like. It's a straight out, like, red berry. But I couldn't tell you what. But it's nice. Yeah. That, that is, they've done really well with all of them. It's not overly sweet, it's just a, a nice, fragrant, 
real nice idiot bread. I can't pick what that is. All I can think of for that is where it's all, well, it's winter berries, isn't it? Yeah. That's all it is to me. It's just literally the inside of a pie of all, like you said, all your dark berries. That's all it is. That is really, really But there's nice. something in the background there. <clears throat> But I, I like them. Again, guys, with Simeon Vapes, all five, <coughs> three opinions, absolutely brilliant. Um, I, I cannot fault them whatsoever. I think they have got the description spot on. I think they are absolutely perfect. The, the 80 20, nice cloud production. And again, the flavours are just spot on. They are yeah, really, really nice. Yeah, you're right. The flavours, the flavours are all there. The stronger flavours that we thought would be overpowering, they've done well to, you know, to hold it in the background. Yeah. yeah. So you and kick get it down. You get that extra bit of kick when you least expect it. Mm. You know, and with the, the stronger flavours, like they've got like the spearmint, you know, your, your dragon fruit, they're hard flavours to mix with. Yeah. Yeah. And they've they've nailed these. Mm. I was going to say for a company that have sent these out, uh, we're testing these on behalf of Ivan. Um, obviously, he owns his own uh, website. Uh, he was asked if we would. Um, review these and see what they're like before he actually stops them so that's kind of given us a little job to do for somebody else which is spot on um so ivan they're awesome um we will be ordering very soon uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um again i will leave links in the description below of where you can get these guys um i'll leave links to our facebook um our instagram our twitter again thank you ever so much for the views and the follows uh, and the subscriptions we're going to say keep it cloudy and we're going to say keep it IVC, and we'll see you next time, guys.